Hey guys, Adam Crow here. Um, this uh, topic has been pretty popular over the past week. Uh, I've seen several people cover this particular news story, but I wanted to give my own take on it just because it is a serious issue and I feel it needs to be addressed as much as possible. So, uh, as you guys may have uh, known, um, there is a case of an 18-year-old boy in Texas. His name is Justin Carter. Well, actually, he's 19 now. But um, what landed him in his current predicament is an interaction with fellow players on an online game called League of Legends. Um, apparently there was some trash talking going on during the course of the game, and one of his friends called him crazy. And his response to this, and I quote, Oh yeah, I'm real messed up in the head. I'm going to shoot up a school full of kids and eat their still beating hearts. And he followed this with LOL and JK, which is obviously laughing out loud, just kidding. But uh, not everyone thought it was a joke. A mother in Canada, who I'm assuming is the mother of a fellow player, uh, she somehow saw the comments and she called the police. Um, the, as a result, Justin Carter was arrested. He spent several months in jail, spent his 19th birthday behind bars and is now facing a sentence up to 18 years. Now, I honestly don't think either side is right in this case. And, um, well, let's get to the actions of, of Justin Carter first. What he said was inexcusable. It was dumb. It was unneededly offensive, and he should have known better. I mean, on the heels of the of the Newtown massacre, the the uh, Sandy Hook shooting. You really you're really gonna say, "Oh, I'm gonna shoot a school full of ele elementary kids," and his father has gone on record defending him. And saying, oh, well, he doesn't watch the news, he doesn't read the newspaper, he doesn't keep up with current events. If that's the case, why do you let him on a public forum? Like, I know there's freedom of speech, and I, I am, I'm not trying to deny you guys that, but think. Think for a second. If you have this kid, who I am assuming has a tendency to be a loud mouth frequently in these kinds of situations if you're if you know he does this why do you let him on a public forum why do you let him publicly the um say shit that gets him into trouble like this and and to say and to say something so detailed oh i'm gonna eat their still beating hearts well, don't you think people can, can take that seriously? I mean, um, there w actually I can, can, can sadly compare this to one of my personal experiences. Back in elementary school, um, third grade when I was eight, I had just watched The Simpsons, and I was really excited about it because it was the first episode I ever watched. And I felt the need to entertain the class by by imitating Homer Simpson. And one of the lines in the episode, I forget which one it was, but it had Homer saying, I will get a gun, and I will kill him. I said this at the completely wrong time. The teacher heard it, and I think it was around 1998, so I, I think there were some school shootings going on um, in, in uh, current news. So they just lashed out. They dragged me to the principal's office, and and they just interrogated me. They were just like, oh, who are you going to kill? Where are you going to get the gun? Just treating me like I was actually going to kill someone. And they even called the police, and that that's where it stopped, because I explained to them, okay, I'm, I was impersonating the Simpsons, 
And obviously, The Simpsons is a popular show, so they they got it instantly. And they're like, okay, we're just going to let you off with a warning. Just don't do this again. And that, and to be honest, I deserve that. Like, even if, even if I was joking, like, you don't make terroristic threats. I'm sorry, you don't. Like, even, even if you can take the joke, you're, you're still saying you're going to kill people. That's illegal. So, I that that's what I would have ex, would have expected to happen in this case. Like they either let him off with a warning, or give him like like two days in jail, or something, or give him probation. I think those would have been some very acceptable punishments. But uh, here's where um, I move on to the other side of the argument. The um, the police officers arresting him and the the judicial system that is now threatening to ruin this kid's life really like eight years in prison for a threat that's obviously a joke i mean this this kid is obviously not a hardened criminal okay he is he, when you add at the end of the phrase lol jk I think it's pretty safe to assume he's not actually going to repeat the events of Sandy Hook, okay? I realize that the events of Sandy Hook are are still fresh in everyone's minds and this the country is in a sense is in a state of hypersensitivity. But let's not lose our heads here. Let's let's take a moment use our common sense and construe what is reality and what is fiction because because what i think is going on here is that our 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 government our judicial system doesn't really understand the the kind of culture that that surrounds online gaming or just gaming in general um to to us it's normal to go on Xbox Live and hear someone call us a faggot, or to curse us out, or even or even get death threats. Even on YouTube, I I have gotten death threats. Vivav has gotten death threats. We never take them seriously because how in the hell is someone we barely even know miles away gonna go and do this? Well, but but here's the thing: they have not. The, pe these people are in their at least in their fifties, so they never really grew up with with this kind of thing. They they don't really understand, you know, video games, the internet, and they don't understand that since it is like the the most the most reliable source of free speech in the world that we <laughs> feel the need we can go. We can feel feel the need to say shit we normally wouldn't, and and um, it just leads to messes like this. I I mean, at at the end of the day, League of Legends is is a I believe a a fantasy strategy online game. I'm I'm not I'm not in the MMO scene, so I'm not too familiar with League of Legends, but. But you really think that someone is going to kill another person over over something like that? I mean, it's, it's really this mentality we've had to deal with for such a long time, and you know, in relation to violence in video games, influence possibly influencing us to to commit real life crimes. Jack Thompson has made that illusion for several years. Recently, Anita Sarkeesian has has made the illusion that the that certain video games influence sexism, which is complete and utter bullshit. I've I've been very tempted to make a video on her. Still might, but that's neither here nor there. In this case, it it's time for our country to wake up and 
I don't know, gets for for our leaders both high and low to get some kind of education as to how really we 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 communicate and we and how we we play online. Now, granted, I am not defending what this kid said. I sta I stand by what I said earlier. What he said was completely moronic. And and all the, all the stuff that that's said on YouTube, all the death threats on Xbox Live, totally dumb. We need to cut that shit out. However, at the end of the day, it's not that harmful. It's not as harmful as these people seem to think. I think at the end of the day, even though we curse each other out, even though we use the most horrible words imaginable, we're, we're still basically there to play games. I think we can agree on that consensus. So, I, I really hope the situation gets rectified because, because this kid is about to have his, his life ruined. For, for saying stupid shit over the internet. He's going to spend eight years with hardened criminals, rapists, murderers. And American jails are just the worst in the world. Well, not the worst, but he is... But people have come out of, jail, of American jails like committing suicide, committing crimes to get back in because... It's, it's affected their minds so much that they don't know how to survive out of jail. Like, that's what you're dooming this kid to whose only crime was, was saying something very ignorant. So, I may make another video about this in the future if, if more information comes to light, but it's, it's, as it stands, no one is really in the right here. It's just a, a sad state of affairs and really an example of how we need to change our, our perception of what is actually considered a threat. So, with that being said, this is Adam Crow signing off and saying, please, don't let this happen to you.